Look, don't say I didn't warn you. Consistency is just not my strong suit. <laughs> this ipsy bag for March, and i'm like it's still early in the month we have plenty of time to do the video well it is now april and then i go out to the mailbox and i see this and i'm like oh fuck <laughs> i didn't do last month's in time so this video today is going to be two months i probably won't do a look with it or if i do i might do it on another video because i have to get to an event tonight because i am booked and stressed that's right so first we're gonna open up march's ipsy um again for those who don't know i have the second ipsy box which i'm realizing now is actually called boxy charm they just like teamed up with boxy charm so this is gonna be my first boxy charm but this was my last like big ipsy bag where they send you like full size pieces whatever i don't know they're obviously going through a rebranding moment and that's fine that's okay they're doing their thing so this is gonna be march's unboxing and then we're just gonna pop right back in right right back into it well like we've been there before then we're gonna pop into april and then i'm like caught up for like a second and so i can get all my other bullshit done and then hopefully i can get back to doing these every month but i don't know we'll see but just just stay tuned so first bag is this beautiful like royal blue bag is there anything else in here no okay all right so this is our march bag and i don't know what's in it though i do know one thing i know that there's like these gonna be this like cute little sponge set because i did see that as a spoiler but i try not to look at anything else so we're gonna look at everything and see what we got first we have lucky chick lip love let's see what is it a lip treatment in sweet vanilla let's open this bitch up shall we beautiful packaging love that very cute very cute Ooh, she does smell good calming comfort lip treatment so it's just a little treatment doodad does it have instructions nope cool we'll figure that out later next on here we have a long lasting liquid lipstick lots of lip products so far i mean there's only been two this gorgeous like i i don't want to say brown but i don't want to say red and i don't want to say maroon either but it's it's one of those it's like a burnt maroon <laughs> don't don't come don't come for me look look don't come for me. All right, what else do we have in here? We have Vara liquid eyeliner. Look at this like really fancy packaging. Everybody's been doing this like gold moment. Ugh, ugh. Vara liquid eyeliner in black velvet. Let's see. <gasps> okay, I like her. Oh, you know what I should do? I'll swatch the lipstick too, just so y'all can see. So that's the liner. It goes on very very nice honestly very good and then oh oh okay let's see oh oh girl oh girl look at that look at that that is beautiful all right what else we got in here oh okay the bag or the box be squished mineral sunscreen oh she knows she knows i am white as fuck when i go outside i can feel my skin burning and I don't get tan. I just burn and then get whiter. Safe for sensitive skin, cool, very simple. Just a nice little sunscreen. Okay, work. Is it for your face? Helps prevent sunburns, yes. Apply before sun exposure. Yeah, I think it's just like a regular body sunscreen. Oh, we didn't even look at the card. Step into your power, March 2023. It's all about celebration of women's empowerment. Slay all your arch enemies. It's literally what it says. Slay all your arch enemies. Arch enemy number one, sparse spots. Arch enemy number two, unruly hairs. Arch enemy number three, overdone brows. And then it gives you like little like tips and shit, but we're not doing that today. We're not getting that deep into it. I'm sorry. This was the thing that I did know about. I love a heart-shaped moment. We all know I love a heart-shaped moment. Oh, hold on. Let me show you the other side that's like prettier. Look at that. Look at this little sponge set. That is so freaking cute. And it's black and red. And if y'all know me, you know me. I do that black and red for my drag all the time. Oh, hello. Oh, listen, listen. Oh, that was satisfying as 
fuck? These are very soft, very squishy. I love. Yes. Ooh, I love this. Yeah, this is the one thing I knew about. It definitely like caught my eye when I was like trying to get through all my Ipsy shit. I was like, oh, her. love that. Love her. We love this. All right. So that is our March one. We're zipping on in. We're gonna go directly to the boxy charm now. So it was like the Ipsy Glam Plus or whatever. And then they switched it because I know Boxy Charm was a subscription service you can use. I guess Ipsy must have done the capitalism thing and bought them out, which is great. Good for her. Um, so now I have Boxy Charm. So I don't know if this is gonna be any different to what we've been doing before or pretty much the same, just like a different name. Um, and it comes in a box now. But let's go ahead and open our first boxy charm up. Ooh, okay. First of all, I'm not living for this. I'm not living for this moment. It looks like they just took the shredder and just used it for padding. And given I use some like paper stuff for my padding, it's like green, it looks like green grass, but this, this isn't giving, it should have at least been pink. I'm not liking the packaging so far, but they don't give a fuck what I have to think. So we're moving on. Once I got it all out of here, it looks like this. It says, discover yourself. The first one is a formula unisexy setting spray. Oh, thank fuck. I have been looking for a new setting spray for a minute. I've been needing one because I am running super low on my My Melody setting spray. I got this My Melody setting spray from um, Little Tokyo when I went out there in LA last year. Oh, did you see Arisa? Arisa just jumped up here. I'm definitely gonna do a look with all of these things. This is something I could definitely do a look with all of these and test this out. So the second one that I'm opening up is this Milk. It looks like it's a mascara. Rise Mascara, Lift Length Volume, yada yada. This looks lovely. I will say this bottle, it's got this like, this thing over it that is just giving, look, okay, this is the best way I can describe it. If you have autism, you're gonna love this. Like, it is, it's such a nice little texture, nice little grippy grip on here. I really like it a lot. I will use this mascara just so I can hold the bottle. Like, I'm not even showing you the bottle. I'm like, look, look, it's so nice. This is the bottle. It's milk. Oh, oh, touching it is so fun. It's got like ridges, like. You hear that? Yeah. And it's like um, rubbery almost. Ooh. I'm not going to use it because I have to do a whole other look after this, but. Ooh. But my look today, like, it's kind of, honestly, I ate, I had blue lipstick on, and then I ate food, and it kind of went away, so you can't really see it anymore, but I was trying to match this cute little skirt that I have that looks like, like a little china plate. I thought it was really cute. Anyway, moving on to the next thing. What do we have here? This is just a box. Aloe eyeshadow palette. Okay. <sighs> Oh God. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Freedom! And it's a nude palette revolutionary i'm not stoked on this but it's okay it's a nice it's a nice base palette but i'm pretty sure last time we had a nice base palette that i would challenge the people at ipsy to stop giving me base palettes and give me something for the girlies but i will be honest i will definitely use this because i think i have been running low on my neutrals so you know what i take it all back i love this thank you liquid eyeliner another eyeliner we're gonna have to do a lot of eyeliner with this look whenever i do that fine print liquid liner it's in this like purple bottle here see we got whoop Nice little felt tip. Is this one also a felt tip? Yeah, they're both felt tips. So I usually, I tend to use a brush tip. I don't mind felt tips though. Felt tips are fine. But like, look at that precision. The other one's a little bit thicker. All right, we got one more thing in here. Before we get to that last thing, let's see, what is this? Boxy Charm by Ipsy. Oh my gosh, they sent me like a whole magazine in here. Same great subscription you know and love, now with more perks than ever. Epic deals, personalized picks, and power picks. It's an ad for it. More exciting news. Chief makeup artist, Ask K Holm. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, so it's gonna have like a little like, what is it? It's like Ask Barbara. I don't know. It's some like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. We're in like the newspaper. They would do like a little Ask column. It looks like they're doing that with makeup. That's cute. I like that. All right, the last thing in here is, ooh, it has broken everywhere. There's like, Oh no, it's got powder all over it. Oh no, I'm nervous. 
Oh, it's all broken. It's, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. It is all sorts of broken. Hold on, look in, look in this bag. Oh no. This is, oh! Awake. I dropped you. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to drop you. We're gonna we're gonna wipe it off. We're gonna see if she's decent. Is she decent? No, she has shattered to fuck. Oh my god. She is completely shattered in there. It's like over half the product. It is pretty much unusable. I mean, I can do the little like spritz of alcohol repress it moment, but it's just not the same as it once was. Again, I think it's because of this silly packaging. It needed to be a lot tighter in there because the previous ones that they have were these little like bubble mailers that I think do a really good job of protecting the products. This one, absolutely not. Well, that really sucks. It's a glow powder. So it's like a blush highlighter combo it seems like but the products that i am challenged to use will be this little neutral i love this little mascara here we got both of these eyeliners that we can use we got this like burnt maroon or whatever i'm calling it liquid lipstick we got this lip treatment here we got a setting spray oh my god get out of here uh, hello. And then we got the um, sunscreen along with, of course, our little heart sponges that I absolutely adore and I cannot wait to use these. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna, we're gonna do a makeup look. So just go ahead and um, buckle your seatbelts. I'll be right back. We're gonna do a look today with these products. Okay, look. It's a completely different way. Oh, way. It's a completely different day. It's a completely different week. <laughs> After I filmed the last video, I realized I had to get in a full drag face. And I was like, I don't have time to do a whole look and then take it off and then do my drag and then go to this event. So I was like, I'll do it tomorrow. And it's been, it's been, it's, it's May now. It's May now. And I'm sure my next boxy charm is going to show up in the mail any day now and we have to just do this all over again but we're here we're queer and i'm gonna actually try to get i've kept it in this box this entire time so i wouldn't use it before i did this video to try to like inspire me to do the video obviously it didn't work super well but we're here quick refresher for mainly for me because this is all gonna be edited where y'all will remember we got the setting spray we got the sunscreen we got oh the oh, the nice is isn't this mascara yes the mascara and the like really cool tube we got this looks like a liner yes got a liner here we got a, a lip thingy a lip thingy we got another lip thingy we got another liner, it looks like, that's covered in this fucking blush. Oh, mm, hate, hate it. We got the little brown nude palette. These, which I'm gonna go wet real quick. The blush. Girl, there is, like, you can't see that. There is minerals all over this. Let's see if she's looking any better. She is looking significantly worse. That's a no. I'm sorry. We're not. We're not doing that. Oh, it's all over me. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Let me wait. <laughs> We're doing great. <laughs> here's what here's the size of them. I'll probably just go get one wet so y'all can see the difference. I wonder, do I have any liquid blush? Because this would be nice for blush one and then this one for foundation, I'm thinking. Or contour and foundation. Hmm. What do you think? If you had, if you had this set, say in the comments, if you would use the red for blush, the black for foundation, or the black for foundation, or the black for contour, and the red for foundation, because those, those are the two thoughts that I have, so let me know what y'all would do with these sponges, which ones you would dedicate them to, and, um, while y'all are commenting that, I'm gonna really quickly go wet these, or wet one of them. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Here is the difference wet 
wet to dry. Obviously this one's the wet one. This one's a dry one. I also realized I did not introduce you to the space that we're in right now. I promise I'm working on this room. So don't fucking come for me <laughs> right now. I'm not in the basement of a killer. This is just my basement. This is actually my little vanity area, which I could... I'll show you. It's it's a fucking mess. It's my little vanity. This is my little closet, my dresser, and then we have the washer and dryer and then all the fucking laundry I need to do. Um, this room is actually under construction because it is basically my walk-in closet and our laundry room of the house, but we're going to turn it into a really cool room. I might do a video about like before and after and yeah, maybe it'll be like a little tiktok thing with literally the last time i tried to do a before and after video on tiktok we got kicked out of that house and so i never actually got to do the after <laughs> and i'm sad about it and so now i'm really salty about <laughs> doing before and after videos but maybe this will be a good way for me to get back to doing that anyway i went and also got some makeup wipes real quick I realize I still have makeup on from the day before. I literally haven't looked in a mirror until I started doing this video. <laughs> you can tell that we're already off to a great day. The lighting for you is terrible. For me is great because when I look up at the mirror that's above y'all, the light hits me perfectly. It's like I got this gorgeous little heart-shaped ring light from my good friend Kat. Shout out Kather Pillar, also known as Kat. We stan. All right, let's try the mineral sunscreen zinc oxide i'm gonna go ahead and just put this on under looks like this looks like fucking sunscreen so far so good i'm gonna throw it on there i usually use CeraVe. the pm doesn't have sunscreen in it or like spf in it the am one does which i also have i just tend to lean more towards the the pm i just like it better as like a moisturizer so i guess i'm kind of kind of using this as a moisturizer which like you probably shouldn't do but whatever we're here we're having i didn't do any on my forehead well so far feels great doesn't have that like gross sunscreen smell which i like it has like no smell at all which is actually really nice and it's going on very well very even it doesn't feel like oily it does feel sticky though which is great for when you're applying um foundation which is what we're gonna do next i use the i don't know how to pronounce this i think it's ill maquillage whatever i think i told you all about this one last time but i'm gonna say it again i literally got this brand because they're like if you do this test online we'll be able to like perfectly match your skin and i was like haha that's fucking hilarious and i bought it to prove them wrong but it is literally the best match i've ever had <laughs> and so i started i really looked like an idiot after that and it lasts like super long i'm getting close to the end of this but i think i've had this tube for like probably longer than i should to be honest it's probably expired as fuck but like i haven't had any weird skin reactions yet so we're still trucking along i do tend to use this with a sponge or sometimes i'll put on my foundation with a little like concealer brush which is also great but so far this sponge is fabulous i like that it has the like flat end normally my sponge is a little ghost face sponge from hex baby beauty i use the other side so i don't ruin the face on it <laughs> This one is great. It feels really good. It's not absorbing too much of the product. So that's really nice. Given wetting it really does help with that. So it doesn't totally eat the product up. All right, that's looking good. Sponges are a yes. I was already excited about those. I knew that those would be phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and use a setting powder. I use the Trixie Mattel Powder Puff. That's what it is. And then, you know, grandma's favorite air spun it is literally the best setting powder and i'm honestly so mad because drag had to become super popular all of a sudden that this giant thing that lasts you like years used to be like a dollar or two dollars and then every drag person realized that this is the best ever which is true it smells like grandma but it really is the best foundation or setting powder and now they like fucking jack the price up i think it's like ten dollars or something now it's ridiculous and i'm like this used to be the like secret and now everybody uses it and i'm telling you now that you should totally use it too because it is great so 
I'm part of the problem. This is the lip love that we got in our little basket. I hate that it's just like I'm in some dingy dungeon. Uh, oh my god, my chair is like, it does not feel secure. So if I fall, y'all know why. I promise I'm gonna make this more aesthetic and I'm sorry I'm not like an aesthetic beauty YouTuber. Um, I'm just living my life uh, and, and I'm bringing you along with me forcefully. <laughs> You're gonna deal with what I'm giving you. This is literally where I get ready for drag specifically, but also every other day. Like this is my vanity area. I'm constantly hitting this thing. This is like all my drag here, you can see. But I'm gonna make it prettier. And then what's gonna be cool about this video is you're gonna see the progression of my space. So think of this as being like the first one in on the ground floor of something, I don't know. Anyway, we're going in with the little lip love thing. I'm gonna use a brush because I hate using my fingers. And throw that on there. Is this more of a gloss? I thought that, sweet vanilla. It's a lip treatment, okay. Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Christine. It feels like a lip gloss. It feels sticky like a lip gloss. It feels moisturizing. It feels like it's doing some sort of heavy lifting with moisturizing there, but for the most part, it just feels like a lip gloss, which I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't ca categorize that as like, lip treatment texture but we'll see i don't know maybe the longer it stays on me the more i will grow onto it or it will grow onto me whatever the phrase is y'all know what's up let's check out these liners real quick i think there's two liners we got i'm gonna i'm taking all this stupid blush off uh i wish that blush didn't break because it's actually really pretty it's giving like everything is like shine but i'm not opening that thing up it's gonna be hell. Bella and Argent Fine Print Liquid Liner, and we have the Fara 18 Hour Liquid Liner. We're just gonna see how this glides on. Should I do like one eye with one, one eye with the other? Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, this side, we're gonna do just really simple, nothing too crazy today. Okay, line on there, pretty all right. Hooded eyes, this is the worst part for us. Little wing, oh, jump scare. You can't tell with the light. Ooh. You you understand. This is a really nice liner so far, honestly. It's doing the fine detail really well. Perfect. Now we're gonna try to do the same thing on the other side with the other liner. This is the Fara liner. Gonna do pretty much the same thing I did on the other side. All right, hooded eye moment. Ooh, this side's starting to feel a little stiff. Just drying, it might loosen up in a second. Let's see. I hope that's the same. Ooh, I'm struggling on this eye. The liner itself is performing really well though. I think this is more user error. That one is so much bigger. Hold on, hold on. I, that one is, that one is so much bigger. <laughs> okay, we're gonna even, we're gonna even her out with the other one real quick. Again, this side's feeling like almost sticky, a little stiff. Okay. That's a bit closer, that's closer, we can work with that. I have a little fan that I use to dry my makeup sometimes, especially like setting spray, which we'll do that in a bit with this guy. I think I like the Farrah one just a tad better. This one feels a little bit thicker on the face, a little heavier on the face than the Farrah one, but both great, both good. Honestly, like the difference isn't that severe that if I wasn't comparing them, I would think they're pretty much exactly the same. We're gonna go in with the little nude palette that I gave us, which. Part of it is also cracked. I don't know if you can see that up there, but there's a little crack there. Packaging needs to be amped up, and if they don't figure out their packaging situation, this is not gonna be worth it to me. I'm gonna kind of mix these three. I kind of just pat around all three of the middle ones. And we're gonna just create some depth here. That's looking good. A lot of fallout in the pan. Oh, oh no. Oh God. I don't know about this one. To be honest, uh, mm, I don't know about this one, hunties. We're gonna go in the like lighter sides to do the rest of this. Do a little boop, you know. It's a brown and in a pinch can be fine, but this is Natasha Denona. Honestly, it ain't serving. Usually I use the uh, gingerbread cookie from Trixie Mattel. I literally only use that one up there. It's a little muddy. The fallout is intense. 
and it just doesn't blend as well as I'd like it. Like, I tend to do my eyeshadow in like a gradient where I'll do like really dark here and then I'll blend it out until it gradients into my skin tone. But it literally just like plops right there and then just like smudges, I guess. I'm not living, I will tell you that. Maybe we can even it out a bit with doing some contour and maybe on my face it'll just look a little bit better. Where is my contour oh here it is for my contour this is not for my ipsy bag but i normally use fenty beauty's little contour compacts looks like this very beautiful we'll just try to even out the insane amount of brown and maybe like to be honest it might be because i like used a little bit of all of the browns in there but usually mixing colors like that doesn't create such an intense reaction i'm just kind of like mixing the tones they're not blending the way that I would like, personally. Let's do the oh, I fucking love this bottle. Oh, I love this bottle. That was hot. Oh my god. Okay, it's got a little bit of a curvature to it. Oh, well, you can see that. Just ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. It's going on okay. So far, so good. It is sticky, and I don't know if that's good or bad. It's okay. I like the bottle much more than I like the product. I'm very picky about mascara. It's not bad. I don't mind it. It's pretty okay. It's all right. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's terrible. It's all right. All right, we're gonna go in with whatever lipstick it gave us. Long lasting liquid lipstick from Ofra. Let's see. It's a beautiful color. I love this like dusty rose color. Nice little applicator there. Also, again, I don't know about this y'all. It did soften my lips, but it still feels like a lip gloss. So it feels really weird putting lipstick on top of this. Um, Cause usually a lip treatment you can put on under your lipstick and then you do a gloss on top traditionally given you don't have to do that, but it feels like it's gonna kind of fuck up the lipstick. Or maybe this lip treatment is meant to be slept in. I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a lip gloss. I think it's just a lip gloss. Ooh, I love this. Oh, this one's nice. Goes on really well. The smell, mm, it could be better. It it smells like it was made in a lab. Like it has a little bit of a chemical-y vibe to it. Wow, this angle I have y'all in is really terrible, isn't it? I'll bring it up here so you can kind of see what I'm saying. Gorgeous color. I actually think it's really pretty. Um, Love the like dusty rose feel. I'm gonna really quick throw on some blush to just, oh my God, this damn whatever you're gonna deal with it it's fine we're going in with the trixie mattel mod about you palette in go go girl which is like the more ready ready red ish tone in the palette i love a heavy blush do a little bit on the nose get real cute with it Ooh, yes yes i need to get significantly better lighting in here for y'all so you can really appreciate my artistry this this is cute this is cute, I fuck with this. All right, then we got the Formula Z Uni Sexy Setting Spray. Oh, girl, hello, good morning. Okay. It just fell off the ground. <laughs> Has a nice thick mist to it. It's drying pretty fast, which is good. Where'd she go? She has left the chat. Got her back. <laughs> totally fell on the ground when I closed my eyes. Setting very nicely. I actually really like this setting spray and I've been needing a new setting spray. The setting spray I normally use, like she's running a bit low, but it's the cream shop, creme shop. My Melody, of course. How to get a fucking Sanrio setting spray. I got this at like uh, the little Japanese village in LA, but she was running low. So I needed a new setting spray. So this is perfect, but here's the final look. I'm trying to make the background seem more appetizing, but it just ain't happening. It's okay, just look at me. I look beautiful. Okay, to go through everything, fuck with this. This is great. I absolutely love it. I love the setting spray that it came with. I love the sponges. However, the mascara, I'm gonna have to learn her a little bit better to have a full opinion, but right now she's like a meh. Like, I don't hate her, but I don't love her we're, we're in the middle i love the bottle and then these two eyeliners are actually they're doing really good they're holding up really well hopefully they stay for a long period of time and i will say this like lip love treatment 
not a fan personally. I don't know, maybe she'll grow on me. And if any of these grow on me, follow me on Twitter and I'll probably tweet on if I have changed opinions. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this mess of a video. I'm gonna try to make this space a little bit more aesthetic for y'all so it's more fun to watch these. And hopefully I can be more consistent of uploading every month. But in the meantime, deal with the chaos. Love you, bye. <laughs> oh, I forgot. And this one. Not a fan. But that's the review. Bam.